Hey guys, it's Rise 7 here, and welcome to um, my video on basic power storage and wires for industrial craft. So we'll just jump in and get started. And the first thing you need to know about wires and industrial craft is after a certain point, most wires will lose EU, which is the basic energy unit for industrial craft. Okay? So if you run, let's say, like a long copper cable all the way from this plane over here to that tree way in the distance right there right over there you probably lose all your EU even if you have like a really powerful EU generator by the time you get all the way over there so there's one thing you need to know about on um, wires is that you need to have the right wire in the right place to not lose EU that you don't that you want to keep okay because once that EU has gone it's gone forever unless you generate it back Alright, so we'll just get started with the first cable, which is the ultra low current cable. And this one only will let like a few EU per tick pass through it. This is the great one for solar panels, um, water mills, all sorts of stuff that I um, did my first video on about the power generation. Alright, so um, this one actually will not lose that much EU, but it can't hold that much EU either, so there's kind of a drawback that okay yes, and this cable is made using tin and a vertical horizontal sorry line like that all right so next cable is the glass fiber cable which is basically the most well-rounded cable in industrial craft it can do basically anything it can hold most currents except for the extremely high voltage and it won't won't lose um, its EU in, like for a very very long time, and if it does, it's gonna be very very little. But the drawback to that is it used to diamond, and you get four with redstone, or you can use um, silver and get six. So it does use diamonds to make it, so that is one drawback. But it is again the most well-rounded pipe for doing basically anything. That's like the pipe you always cable, sorry, cable you always want to use for industrial craft wiring if you had the resources. Um, the basic cable though is the copper cable, which is shown right here, and it is only used through low voltage, and it is crafted like shown with rubber and copper. Now um, this little bit right here is the uninsulated copper cable, which is right here is this one. So you can go like that and get yourself six uninsulated cable. But this cable does not use rubber. But it also, if there's any current traveling through, it will it can hurt you if you stand on it. And I'm pretty sure it bleeds you like a lot more than the insulated insulated cable would. Okay, so the next cable is the gold cable, and this cable is for a medium voltage and it can also be used for low voltage. All the higher voltage things can be used for their lower tier, but not so going up, okay? So the gold cable is much more efficient in that it can hold medium voltage and low voltage, but it also does not lose as much EU going through it in as longer distances as the copper cable does because copper cable is the basic cable and it is fairly weak. So the gold cable is crafted like so with the insulated gold cable with the rubber and that is made with the rubber around the gold ingot and you get four of them. Now the different tiers of insulation are how good it stores the EU in it without losing the EU that travels through it pretty much. And for the higher voltage case how much it hurts you probably. But as you I said there's the gold uninsulated cable which probably will hurt you very badly if you step on it while it's the current's going through it. And then there's the insulated gold cable, which is kind of like normal cable, but it's not, it'll lose EU, probably about the same as the copper cable. Alright, and then there's the regular one, which is more efficient than the copper cable and will hold more, will not hold more EU, but it won't, it will not hold medium voltage. Alright, the next cable is the high voltage cable, which is the, like, extreme cable in industrial craft. Um, on the, standing on this insulated cable, probably kill you, as this cable is only really used for reactors, nuclear reactors, because no nothing else in industrial craft can probably, like, just have the raw EU power that the 
high voltage cable can carry. But in this table, there are three levels of insulation. This is the insulated one, two times insulated, and then four times insulated, which you can see here with the 2x no, insulated and then the regular. And this is made using refined iron, by the way. Just turn it to day real quick. The next are the transformers and um, energy storage. Wow. And I just set up a little display here of what cables go into which transformers and stuff like that. Okay, so then you've got your high voltage cable going into the high voltage transformer, which will turn any current going into here that is higher than high voltage into high voltage. So um, it won't turn like medium voltage into high voltage, it doesn't work like that. Um, but the high voltage transformer can um, turn, as I said, the high voltage into high voltage, no, sorry, <laughs> extreme voltage into high voltage. And if these things are fairly expensive, like, n not kidding. But the energy crystal is a diamond and redstone around it. And then you've got your electronic circuit and the four insulated um, cables and, and the medium voltage transformer, which we'll get to in a bit of how to craft that. But the energy storage for the high voltage is, um, let's see here, the yeah, wow, MFSU, wow, which is extremely expensive, it, but it counteracts that by being able to pull 10 million EU, okay? That's a lot of EU. It'll probably take most of your Minecraft career to fill that thing up, depending on how much resources you have. This takes six Lapatron crystals, which are made like so, with the lapis, energy crystal, and then electronic circuits. And it also takes um, mach events machine blocks and MFE, which is the other, the lower storage tier for the medium voltage, and an advanced machine block with some advanced alloys and carbon plates. Okay. And thing to note though, the MFE, MFSU will output 512E per tick. So if your machines can't handle that, they will explode. Just a note there. You'd have to downgrade it with a medium voltage transformer in order to get to the medium voltage machines, and then or an LV transformer after that to get to the regular machines. All right. Next up is the NV transformer, which turns high to medium. All right. So, where's the recipe for that? Oh, there it is. Okay, and this is fairly easy to make, honestly. It's a machine block and two gold cables. Extremely easy to make, but, yeah. So, and, and then we got the MFE, which is the medium voltage um, store device thingy, energy storage, which is right here, which takes four energy crystals, which are each a diamond, by the way. And two in your gold cables and a machine block. And it stores 6 million EU and will output medium voltage current. Okay? Now, these energy storages are a way to upgrade your power. So if we had some low voltage power going into an MFE, it would output medium voltage. Just kind of a note there for you guys. And so the next one is the Elder Transformer, which is crafted like shown with your wood, copper, and the copper cabling turn medium voltage into low voltage. And as I said, you can put the gold cables interchangeably with the low voltage. Alright? And then so we got the back box, which stores a mere um, 4,000, uh, no, 40,000, sorry, EU, which compared to these is like nothing. But you gotta start somewhere, right? And this is wood with some batteries and copper cabling. Batteries being made like so, with the tin, the redstone, and copper cabling. Alright, so now I'm on to the more interesting cables Industrial Craft has to offer. This is the EU detector cable, which is fairly obvious what it does. Let me just get myself some coal and place it in there. Now you notice as soon as EU starts traveling through this, you'll get a redstone signal out through here. Okay? So that's basically all this does is when EU is traveling through it, you just get a redstone signal. So that can be used for some pretty good ways, like if you just think about a few ways to do this. You could have something trigger whenever you use slung through it, and then there it went off because they're cold right now. And then this one is the U splitter cable, which is fairly interesting. And so you just put your coal in here, 
and you will notice that it's not doing anything, it's not lighting up, and the power is going into the be this bat box right here. But if we were to flip this lever, this the whole graphics would change on the on the cable, and we'd stop getting you to this bat box, and the EU would build up inside this generator. And we just turn that off, and it will continue to flow through. And these two things are crafted by the EU detector is um, the trunk circuit and four x insulated cable with redstone around it. And the EU splitter cable is with a lever, two high voltage cables, and two redstone. So not that bad. But um, one thing I do want to show you guys though is what happens if you do try to feed a medium voltage into a low voltage container or something like that. Alright, so we're just gonna go out here where I won't hurt anything, hint hint, and get a solar panel. I'm gonna get a medium voltage solar panel and get a bat box. I'm gonna use our glass fiber cable. Why not? Alright. And I, no, I actually I will show you what happens if you put a too low a grade wire underneath a energy collector that isn't ready for that. I know that outputs medium voltage, alright? So we just put that there, and when it starts working... Oh wait, yeah. It's not actually sending any EU through it. When it starts working, we'll get an explosion, and that is very painful. Not really, but it is. Kind of. But these wires will explode about... Actually, the wires melt, and the bat box will explode, because it just can't handle um, the raw medium voltage power. And you will lose your wires, and you will lose your bat box, so be careful about that, guys. You don't want anything exploding. Also, another note, if you put hook up a machine that is supposed to take low voltage power, um, you pretty much guess what happens, but a lot of people probably do this, not even realizing it. There's a weird-looking bird thingy in my view. But this thing will explode, too, and it will hurt you, but I mean, peaceful, hopefully. And it looks like that one actually destroyed some blocks, so like a creeper would. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much the basic power storage and wire logistics. Um, this has been Quintet 7. Have a good day, everyone.